what's up? My hair looks, I don't know if you can like get the full view. My hair looks ridiculous today. I was at work. I had it down like lower than I was at work. And it was just like me. So I put it up and then looked in the mirror while I was pulling up a bucket. And I was like, it's just... I don't know, I don't think I actually, I don't know, I don't think I like it a little bit, but I was like, I don't even know. Yesterday I cleaned my room and I got rid of the chest of drawers, I don't even know what you'd call that. I don't know, my closet to make room for more books because I was cleaning my closet. And I realized I have too many books and not enough room for all those books, so the books have gone onto a fourth shelf, fifth shelf, they're just... There's books everywhere, and it's crazy. I just got a new book the other day. I got Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore, which I got off a recommendation from someone on YouTube. I forget who it was. Might have been Bookables or Readables. I feel like those are two different channels, but it was one of them. I don't know. I'm excited to read that. I'm going to probably start reading it today. And I'm so excited about it. But, yeah, I don't even really know what I was going to say. You know what else I got? I got two new CDs. At Best Buy the other day, I went to Best Buy with my brother because we went to Chapters. And then we walked to Best Buy because he wanted to get, I don't even know, some memory card. I don't even know. I apparently go shopping with my brother now. And I was looking through CDs because that's what I do. I just gravitate towards CDs at every place ever. And I got Blink 182's Take Off Your Pants and Jacket for five bucks. And I'm pretty excited about that because you know me. I started my collection of Blink 182 CDs and I'm committed now. I need to get them all. I'm getting there. I think I have. Let me check. I have four. Blink-22 CDs now, so I'm doing good. I also got Ollie Mers' Right Place, Right Time that, like, recently came out in North America. <laughs> My dogs. Um, so that's exciting. But I was kind of disappointed because, oh my god, my dogs are so loud. I was a bit disappointed because the U.S. version of the CD is different than the U.K. one, so I had, like, I legally downloaded the UK version when it came out because I knew it wasn't going to come out here for a long time and then I could buy it when it came out here. Because I have the rest of the CDs on iTunes. And I only bought this one because it was 10 bucks and I was like, why not? I like Elimers. Um, I got it home and I was like, I was just looking at the track list. I looked through the like booklet whenever. And I realized that, oh, a few of the songs aren't on it. What's going on? And then I realized some of the songs on the CD are on other CDs he's released. So, they replaced songs that were on that original version of CD with, like, singles from other CDs. Because I guess this is the first time he's officially released a CD in the U.S. for stores and, like, it's like, debut CD in the U.S. So, it doesn't have a bunch of the songs that I really liked off of Right Place, Right Time. And I'm kind of really upset about that because I've already paid for the songs. Like, the old songs, I've already paid for them on iTunes. I just paid for them again. So I'm a bit upset about that. The US slash Canada got screwed. <sighs> yeah, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Oh my god, you know what I did? I will tell you this. I saw on Tumblr someone painted their the blades on their fan different colors. So when you turned it on it would like look cool. So I did that. I will like grab my fan, I guess. Can you see it? Yeah, so I painted my fan blades different colors and I was like, because I was bored and really, do I have anything better to do with my life? No. So I painted the different, and when you turn it on you can't really tell. But, it looks kind of cool when it's turned off, though. 
It's hot pink and teal and like lime green. So. Ooh, and I actually painted sparkles onto a few a little bit because I can't help myself when it comes to sparkles. How long have I been talking? Five minutes. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. Yesterday I went downtown and I went to the box office and I got my Warped ticket. I'm so excited. I've wanted to go to Warped for so long and I've never gone. And me and my friend are going this year and I'm so stoked. It's July 5th in Toronto. So, here we go. Here I come. Warped tour. Oh, I thought there was something on my camera. It's just a reflection. Um, I'm just, like, I'm excited. Because I have Warped coming up now, and I've got, I've got to buy tickets for the main. I was going to buy them at the box office yesterday, but apparently you can't do that. She couldn't find them, and I was like, oh. So I don't have tickets for the main yet, but I've got Taylor Swift coming up next month, right before exams, and then I've got One Direction in July, and possibly the Jonas Brothers, if I can make it to New York when they're there and convince my dad to take a detour on our road trip to see the Jonas Brothers. We'll see. Alright, I think that's all I have to say. So, bye.